in the summer of my second year of high school. I, Kaname Kijima, had a serious concern on my mind. I want to try meeting a beautiful transfer student. There's a comic I've been really addicted to lately, and one of the characters in there is a super gorgeous transfer student. But come to think of it, transfer students that pretty barely exist in real life. That's why I wish with all my heart I could see one with my own eyes. But reality is cruel. There's no way. Fiction is fiction for a reason. It's just a story in a comic. Surely you don't expect a transfer student to suddenly come trotting in. And one that's a beautiful girl too. And this girl who's doing her very best to deny me my fantasies? She lives near me and has shockingly been my schoolmate all the way from kindergarten until now. She's my childhood friend. Her well-defined features framed by shoulder-length brown hair means she stands out from the crowd as one of the prettiest girls in school. Wasn't well, there a saying about how it's really game over when you give up? It's also from a fictional story. Anyway, if even such a person existed, they wouldn't date you. It's simply impossible. How would I know that if I don't at least try? I mean... It'll be over once they see your face. There's a brass knuckle when I need one. In the first place, you've already beaten the odds by having such a cute girl as your childhood friend. She's not wrong. A beautiful childhood friend is just as much of a classic element in romantic comedies as a beautiful transfer student. Momoka's an objectively pretty girl, so she definitely fits the bill. No thanks. I'll throw you out the window, you jerk. What a sharp tongue. As I said, no thanks. I wonder if someone would transfer in when I come to school tomorrow. It's not like I really want to start a love story with such a person. If anything, I would just be happy to get to witness such an event. What skill do I need to learn to make my fantasy come to life? Time to come back to reality now. Momoka poked me in the cheek as she told me. As a punishment for just now, let me poke you three times. Where's my beautiful transfer student? And this is why I wanted to escape reality. Why did I just agree to let her poke me three times? We have a transfer student joining us today. The next day, I successfully breached the thin boundary between fiction and real life. Sir, is it a guy? No, it's a young lady. Oh! In this new world, the cheers of the boys in class nearly took the roof off. Hey! Hmm? Kanami, what did you do? Oh dear. Does she suspect that little old me has the power to somehow be the cause of a girl transferring into our school? I worry for her sometimes. Right, so now we know she's a girl. In order for me to fulfill my heart's desire, only a good looking girl will do. Please be pretty, please be pretty, please be pretty! <sighs> While I was praying with all my might, I could feel Momoka's eyes boring into me. It's seriously so not cute. You can come in now. Yes, sir. In response to the teacher's voice, a slender figure appeared at her classroom door. Glossy raven black hair down to her waist, beautiful and well-defined facial features, and a feminine elegance that exuded from her every pore. Ugh. The whole class gasped in unison. I was no exception. It was the least her beauty deserved. My name is Ai Hakushuki. It's my pleasure to meet all of you. She's gorgeous. We're gonna have one more pretty girl in our class? I never thought we would get another one after Kanazaki. She just pulled up the entire class's average level of attractiveness all at once. Uh, I'm so glad to be in this class. 
So the only open seat now is next to Kijima. Saying that, the beautiful transfer student slowly made her way to the desk beside mine. Whoa, she's even prettier up close. I was utterly captivated. But I shouldn't jump the gun. I'm only an extra in the story. I'm sure the real main character will eventually make his appearance in the romantic comedy that's about to unfold. I'm already perfectly content witnessing this fictional scene play out in real life. There's no way anything will happen between her and me anyway. It's nice to meet you, Yakushiji. Um... What's wrong? No, nothing at all. I hope we get along well from now on. Hmm. I felt like I was being stared at for some reason. But let's not get my hopes up. A mom character should know to avoid any unnecessary confrontations. A beautiful girl will become the center of conversation wherever she goes. Whether in fiction or reality. It seems this law of nature doesn't change. Where are you from? Could you be from a rich family? Can I please have your number? Say, wasn't there a similar spectacle at this year's opening ceremony? Except it was you at the center of it. It seems I passed my best before date. No, you haven't. A classic only becomes more popular over time, you know. That reminds me. Didn't another one of our classmates confess to her yesterday? I'm so damn jealous. But there's only one person I'm interested in. Are you sure you don't want to join those guys? I mean, I very much want to, but... If you do, I'll crush you. You're already crushing me with your eyes. She's so scary my legs are refusing to move. Most of the time, I eat lunch with Momoka. It's nice to eat lunch with a friend. At least, that was what I thought. But according to her, she worries about my ability to eat my food properly without her guidance. How horribly rude. And it's lunch break now. Time to get out my lunchbox and... Kijima, shall we have lunch together? Just as I was about to go find Momoka, a wild beauty spawned in front of me. This is definitely a rare specimen. Where's a master ball when I need one? Um, why? <laughs> Think of it as an invitation from your seatmate. Oh no, her demure smile is going to give me a heart attack. Don't even think about it. Konami's eating with me. At that exact moment, a wild, gorgeous childhood friend appeared as well. I think a normal Pokeball will work for this one. Yep. Well, not eating together once in a while is okay, right? Pretty please? Don't talk like that! It's gross! On second thought, I think it's better to leave this wild Pokemon alone. How about all three of us eat together then? Excuse me, can I request that girl be swapped out? Wanna die? Right, I have no more objections. What is this? Why did I get threatened for just speaking my mind? Where the beauties gather, so do the jealous guys. Which is why I picked the rooftop as our lunch spot today. We sat down and opened our lunch boxes. Kajima, did you make that yourself? Hmm? Well, I guess. Wow, it looks delicious. In that case, you want to try one? Can I? I had no reason to refuse. Then, don't mind if I do. In saying that, Yakushiji took a piece of fried chicken from my lunchbox and bit into it. And she did it with her face right next to mine. <laughs> it's as good as it looks. A compliment from a beautiful girl is a perfect marriage with her gorgeous face. My heart jumped in my chest and I turned bright red from head to toe. 
Y yeah Thanks. If you'd like, you can have some of mine too. Though, I didn't make it myself. Of course. I'll gladly have some. Yes, an offer of food from a beautiful girl. Woo -woo. Hmm. What's going on? You don't like what's in your lunchbox today? Showing her unhappiness by puffing her cheeks out like a squirrel. Does she have no idea how adorable she is right now? What you made is as good as always. Hmm. And so why is she in such a bad mood? I don't get it. You made lunch for her? Apparently the two of you are closer than I thought. Did you say something? No, nothing at all. Really? I was sure I heard something. Hmm. I don't really understand this one either. After class has ended. Kojima, shall we walk home together? Again, I was confronted by the same wild beauty. I don't mind, but are you sure you don't want to walk with some of the other classmates? I don't think she'd enjoy walking with an extra like me. I think it'd be best to start by deepening my friendship with the person sitting beside me. Hmm. I'm so glad I'm her seatmate. Thank you, God. Hold it right there! Talk about deja vu. The gorgeous childhood friend sitting behind me that I didn't try to capture just now made her appearance again. I I'm coming too. You can offer me a million dollars or try to buy me off with the latest skincare products, but I'm coming with you no matter what. For how desperate she looks to accompany us. Her words don't sound nearly half as desperate. Let's all walk together then. Oh, 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 look at me. A lady on each arm. Hey, aren't you a little too close? Oh my. Is this not an appropriate amount of distance? It must be, since you're walking as close to him as I am. Huh? I feel like I bit off more than I can chew. Say something, Konami! Tell her she's too close! Am I, though? Not at all. In fact, you can come closer if you want. Huh? Right. I have to know my place. Well, I guess it's true she's walking unusually near to me. More than mere physical distance, I feel like we're getting closer in spirit too. Is this also because we're seatmates? Not that I'm complaining. Hold on, is this the way to your place too, Yakushiji? Yes, it is. I'm walking with you all the way. All the way? Um, this is me. Momoka's house is relatively nearer to school. That's why I come over so often to hang out. You mean you live closer to me than Momoka does? Now then, I'm curious about that too. Yakushiji smiled mysteriously, seeing that. Uh, I'm coming over to your place today, Konami. This is where I live. She pointed to a closed door of an apartment unit. We could only look at her in stunned surprise. I mean, we had every reason to. You live next to me? <laughs> Are you shocked? Come on, who wouldn't be? Though it's true that the noises coming from here in the past few days did sound like someone was moving in. But I never thought it'd be Yakushiji. With this, maybe you'll allow me to join the ranks of your childhood friend? What? Seeing that your classmate who lives next to you is a childhood friend, surely it's not that far off the mark. Well, if she lives right next to me and depending how much time we spend together from now on, it wouldn't be completely wrong to call us childhood friends. He already has a childhood friend. Just because your place is near his doesn't mean you can just usurp my position. 
<laughs> That's not all what I'm trying to do. For some reason, I can almost see the sparks flying off of them as they exchange words. Let's go in, Konami. We're going to play games all night. Hey! Grabbing onto my arm, she forcibly pulled me into my apartment. I still didn't really get what was going on, but I was able to wave goodbye to Yakushiji before the door closed. Oh my. My apartment is more formidable than I thought. Only once I entered my room did I have a little more time to think about things. In the forefront of my mind was my lovely, sweet classmate, and... A rare specimen of a man who's not really interested in me, even though it's the one time I actually want him to be. Well, all good things come to those who wait. I already went to all the trouble of begging father in order to secure the apartment next to his. Even so, his people work fast. I knew I could count on father. Although, thanks to that, I'll have to live alone here for a while. The only way left is to press on, even if only for my pride. I'll defend my position as his next door neighbor to the bitter end. Day after I discovered the shocking fact that the beautiful transfer student was living next door to me. Good morning, Kojima. Rise and shine. I was greeted with a feast for the eyes first thing in the morning. Oh, there's a mountain of things I have to think about. Like, what side dishes should I make for today's lunchbox, or how to finish my homework efficiently so I can sleep in in the mornings? Even if I am a high school student with no heavy responsibilities, my head was still full to the brim with anxieties. And chief among them was... Hello? Is this...
on. Didn't we settle this yesterday? What are you fighting over this time? I reflected on my actions. But we're not in a public place right now. So now you get along. Oh, your mom already left for work? So I, your one and only childhood friend, will be making you breakfast. Leaving those words behind her, Momoka left the room. How does she have so much energy in the morning? <laughs> she left us alone, huh? Right. So, what exactly do you want? What do you mean? I might be dense, but I'm not a complete idiot. There's no way I wouldn't find it weird to keep ending up in these kinds of situations with someone as pretty as you. It's strange for a beauty like her to keep approaching an average Joe like me. Even if it was purely a coincidence that she was seated next to me and she lives in the apartment besides mine, it's still unthinkable for us to have gotten so close so fast. It's not like I'm the male lead in a rom-com. I... I just wanted to get closer to you, Kojima. Even if you say that, it's not normal to rush things like this. This is only the third day since we first met. Oh. Just tell me if you want something from me. If you want me to do you a favor, you could try asking first. Or if you have a problem with me, you could at least tell me why. I looked Yakushiji seriously in the eyes. <laughs> You're a first for me. Suddenly, Yakushiji pushed me backwards onto the bed. Hey. It's the first time I've met a guy with completely no interest in me. Yakushiji straddled me as she spoke. Most guys, when I get this close, will let me get away with almost everything. I'm sure most guys would be happy to be forced down by such a beautiful woman. But in the end, I'm just an extra with romantic fantasies. I'll never be the main character. That's because I'm well aware of how much I'm worth. Exactly. The shining eyes on her elegant face stared unabashedly at me. You're the only one. The only one who doesn't expect anything from me. It's frustrating. I used to think no one would be able to resist my advances, no matter what the sex they were. Is that why? I remained unconvinced. I don't get why she got so frustrated in the first place. To be honest, I don't understand at all. But if she's willing to go this far, I guess that's just how much this means to her. Right, well, rein it in a little and give me a breather. You're making Momoka angry too, for some reason. <laughs> Alright. In hindsight, the fact that you already have such a beautiful girl for a childhood friend. I guess it's no surprise that my looks don't really affect you. What are you talking about? One doesn't get used to beauty. I welcome pretty girls with open arms every time. Oh, is that so? So you'll welcome me with open arms as well, right? What's this? Your vanity is showing, you know. My appearance is something I have confidence in. But that doesn't help my frustration. I find myself really interested in you all of a sudden. Saying that, she leaned in. What? Hey! <laughs> this is fine, right? Physical contact of this nature should make any guy happy. No, not that I'm not happy, but still. What are you two doing? Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Wait, Momoka. I swear this isn't what it looks like. The fact that you're making excuses means that this is exactly how it looks. I'm done for. I'm in the middle of seducing him. Seducing him? Yes, it seems like you have a firm hold on the position of childhood friend after all. So I thought I would try going after the position of girlfriend instead. Whoa, what a powerful growl. You vixen. 
Whoa, my childhood friend is terrifying. In that case, you can be the childhood friend. I'll give a spot to you for free. Huh? No, thank you. Huh? I've decided the role of Kojima's girlfriend is more suitable for me. Oh, oh, hold on! You say something too, Konami? Hmm... What's the dilemma here? I mean, having a beautiful girl come on to me like this, I don't think it'll ever happen again. Now then, let's get even closer, Konami. He'll be too busy doing that with me, alright? Hey! Just when I was fantasizing about a fictional beautiful transfer student, one actually turned up in real life. She steadily got closer and closer to me, and then my childhood friend got jealous. I can't complain. This is a fantastical situation that a wallflower like me will probably never experience again. But... Now I know the meaning of the words, be careful what you wish for. How can I calm them down without triggering one of them? In that moment, that was the only thought in my head. 